Hello everyone, I'm home. Hey Dad. Hey, why's the TV down so low? It's not down low, you're just talking really loud. I got 100% on my algebra test. Hey sweetie, what'd you get on your algebra test? I got a new book about animals. Hey, neat book. What's that about? Animals. I told you, Dad. Hey, why are you guys talking like that? Like what? Hey, come on now. Stop messing with me. Honey, what's wrong? Come on. You're playing with me, right? No. No. Something's wrong. We're talking normal. Guys, something's wrong with Dad. I don't understand. Why are you, why are you speaking like that? What's wrong, Daddy? Hearing that's lost because of noise is one of the most common job injuries. More than 30 million workers are exposed to hazardous noise every year. Though some hearing loss is temporary and goes away in a couple of days after you've been around loud noise, some situations could lead to permanent and irreversible hearing loss. Can you hear me? Hi, welcome to Copper Point Mutual's Focus on Safety. I'm your host, Greg Fernandez. In this series, we bring you information so you go home safe from work every day. OSHA says work-related hearing loss is also 100% preventable. But because it's invisible and usually painless, people ignore it until it's too late. Hearing loss because of noise can happen either by exposure to one extreme sound like an explosion or it can happen slowly over time. Whether noise harms your hearing and by how much and how soon depends on the pitch, the loudness of the noise and how long your ears are exposed to it. Your hearing will be damaged by noise levels at or above 85 decibels. 85 decibels is about the loudness of heavy traffic and normal conversations, about 60 decibels. Right now, I'm talking at about 60 decibels. If you're at arm's length away from someone and have to shout to communicate back and forth, the noise levels around you are probably too high. The louder the sound, the shorter the amount of time before your hearing is damaged. Sound intensity doubles every three decibels. So, for each three decibel increase in sound level, potential damage to your ear doubles. And the closer you are to the source of a loud noise, the more possibility it will damage your hearing. For example, eight hours of 85 decibel noise every day damages your hearing over time. If you raise that level to 88 decibels, it's now only four hours. Raise it to 91, only two hours, and so on. Power tools, about 100 decibels or more. Loud music through headphones, about 110 decibels. A rock concert, about 120 decibels. A jackhammer, about 130 decibels. Or a gunshot, 140 to 170 decibels can damage your ears after hearing them only a few times. Some sounds, like explosions, are so loud that once is enough for you to go completely deaf. Hearing loss happens because hair cells in your inner ear die from extreme sound vibrations. Those cells can never regenerate or heal. Daily exposure to very high decibels without wearing hearing protection is a sure way to lose your hearing. You can also lose your hearing by getting an ear injury or by getting chemicals, especially solvents, metals, or pesticides in your ear. A loud blast or flying debris can rupture your eardrum. A head injury can severely damage your hearing, and some hearing problems are caused by diseases and infections. And just like the rest of your body, your ears age too. Adding noise to natural hearing loss is not a good idea. Some of the symptoms of hearing loss by noise and disease are feelings of pressure or fullness in the ears, speech that seems to be muffled or far away, a ringing sound in your ears, losing high-pitched sounds like birdsong, inability to separate speech from background noise and locate the source of sounds. As hearing loss gets worse, low-pitched sounds become harder to hear. Exposure to noise can cause other serious health problems such as headaches, elevated blood pressure, fatigue, irritability, digestive disorders, increased susceptibility to infections. 
Other symptoms of ear diseases are loss of balance, motion sickness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and some sounds or pitches may cause pain. Ear infection symptoms include ear aches, fevers, mild deafness, discharge from the ear. For noise-induced hearing loss, symptoms may go away after you stop being exposed to the noise. So you might think you don't have a problem. The truth is, your hearing may still be damaged. Your hearing only goes back to normal if there are enough healthy cells left in your inner ear. If you experience any symptoms in your ears, go to a doctor and talk to your supervisor or employer. Some industries with a lot of noise exposure are transportation, agriculture, mining, construction, manufacturing, utilities, and the military. There is hearing loss and hearing impairment. Hearing impairment is a word some use for severe hearing loss. Nearly half of all plumbers and carpenters report hearing loss, which is bad enough. And over half of all miners had hearing impairment by the time they were 50. NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, has some fun interactive web tools that you can download to help you with ear safety. Let's check out the noise meter. If I ask what a tractor's decibel rating is, I can see the noise meter here is going to tell me it's 96 decibels. If I look at a chainsaw, we're looking at 110 decibels just for operating a chainsaw. I'm gonna check a rocket launch. Wow, I'm gonna let you take a look at this one. Another risk of hearing loss is listening to loud music while you're at work, either through speakers or headphones. Sometimes people try to block out loud noise with loud music, but what they're really doing is just adding to the noise level. Notice that a jackhammer is 110 decibels on the noise meter. That's the highest setting American MP3 players can go. So if you're setting your player all the way up, it's like standing right next to a jackhammer. And the more you lose your hearing, the more you have to turn up the volume and the more you damage your ears. Plus, your ability to hear what's around you is even less if you add music to loud machinery.